Hey guys, welcome back to Math at School. Today I've prepared this very simple math question that I see a lot of people make mistakes on because they often get mistaken about distributed property and order of operation. They get mixed up, make this very common mistake, and I'm gonna show you why that's a mistake and how to solve this step by step in a correct way. So for those of you who wanna test yourself if you can solve this without making a mistake, then pause this video at this point and um, solve it yourself. Uh, type your answers uh, in the comment section down below. For those of you who um, just want to watch me solve this step by step, you are welcome to just let it play it out from this moment on because I'm going to get started right now. So grab your pen and pencil. Let's go. So I have negative 5 um, squared and then plus 4 and then parenthesis 2 plus 3 times 10 parenthesis so this looks very simple and i see a lot of people do is they go ahead they get too excited oh i know the distributive property i'm going to distribute distribute this 4 into 2 3 and 10 and solve it like that if you do that you get 8 plus 12 plus 40 something and they make a big mistake and they get a wrong answer why this is a mistake well because before you distribute since there's a parenthesis what you need to do is you need to solve out numbers that are within the parenthesis first and also you also need to address this power so let's go ahead and do that i have negative 5 squared plus 4 2 plus 3 times 10 and according to the order of operation or the rule of pandas i need to first take care of parenthesis so I'm going to take a look at what I have within the parenthesis and solve that out before I move on to the rest of my steps. So within the parenthesis, I have 2 plus 3 times 10. And according to the rule of PEMDAS, again, when you have um, addition and multiplication, addition, multiplication multiplication takes precedence which means i need to take care of 3 times 10 first so let's go ahead and do that 3 times 10 gives me 30 so i have 2 plus 30 which will give me 32 so i can just easily replace this mathematical expression with a number 32 and be done with the parenthesis part of this mathematical expression so let's rewrite the whole thing i have negative 5 squared plus 4 times 32 and then from this expression if i write pandas again parenthesis is already taken care of so why don't we just write 4 times 32 like that and the next part is exponent we need to take care of exponent next and if you take a look at this what I see a lot of students do is they square negative 5 and end up with positive 25 and that's a big no-no because there is no parenthesis that wraps around negative 5 there what you have here is 5 squared and then there's a negative sign attached to 5 squared you know why because exponent comes before subtraction and exponent takes precedent which means you deal with 5 squared first and then deal with negative sign next so 
I'm going to solve 5 squared first, which gives me 25. And then I'm going to add negative sign to it. And then I'm going to add 4 times 32, which is what? 8 and 12. So uh, 128. So this is what I get um, after squaring and multiplying 4 times 32. And the last step is to just add negative 25 with positive 128. That's equal to 120, uh, sorry, 103. And 10, oh, oh, sorry, oh, 103. That's correct, right? 103 is going to be my final answer to this problem. And that's how you would approach a question like this without making a mistake. So if this video helped, please go ahead and like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Also, if you want more videos made by me, you can access them on my website on www.method.school. So thanks for watching and I'll come back with more helpful and more entertaining videos later on. Have a great day.